Okay. No, it's a little bit slower than you, obviously, Toby. <laughs> Alright, you already said that there will be a small challenge um, with one of your best stringers who maybe shows me a little bit how to how fast you can actually string a racket and put the strings in. Um, yeah, a bit afraid, yeah. but also looking forward to it. Uh, he's quite fast. He's uh, Thai Trin from France. He's worked with me at French Open for many years. He's done a couple of world championships now and also uh, was a uh, Sudaman Cup. Uh, this guy averages around 35 a day. Okay. Uh, and we also we have, have to stop him, you know. <laughs> but but you're this. actually very lucky that we have a racket here for Victor Axelson. Okay. So what does he uh, want? What kind of tension? Uh, Victor string? would have BG80 white 80. All right. He prefers now because it goes well with the frame. Um, so he's got 32 on the main strings, 34 on the cross, and 10% pre-stretch. Okay, so he's also one using pre-stretch. Yeah. yeah. All right. So. So yeah. I think we'll call tie in and then he'll put the mains and you're gonna have a cross All challenge, right. right? Let's do it. Okay. So Ty is now getting in the main strings. So um, Tim, maybe you can guide us a little bit through what's happening now. Uh, yeah, basically, um, what you see, Ty, Ty is, is like me. He uh, likes to pre-lace the main strings before he starts. Uh, and then when we start, obviously we, we, we're starting from the center to the outside and we're pulling each string individually. So uh, we see some stringers, they're pulling two at a time because they think that's okay. But the, uh, the correct way is one at a time. Uh, some people will pull uh, two or three on one side, then two or three on the other side. Uh, whereas the guys I work with tend to do one by one on each side. And then I think here's a bit you should focus on which is uh, the Onyx way is on the outside two cross two main strings. We go outside first and then back inside here. Uh, one is that this creates a shorter uh, length on the tie off for the knot. The other is we pull both strings together because it's protecting the frame here where it's uh, at one of its weakest points. And there Ty's hitting the knot button, which adds uh, another 10%. Okay, here he's using the stringy hook, which helps when you have uh, the string goes at the wrong angle through the grommet. You need to pull it straight so you can get the, the second string in through the hole, through the grommet. And uh, Ty, can you go a little slower on this one so that we can see? Okay, you can see there the perfect knot is um, anchored. It doesn't move when you release the clamps. Okay. Uh, we all have very slightly different ways of doing it, but it's just to be the same end of the job, you know? Okay, Tim, so already before you told me that the knots are really important, and now there's a starting knot for the crosses yes. coming up? Yes, we, we do it slightly different to um, some people. Is uh, This is actually learned from Asia, is because the way they string is with two knots from one side. Okay. Uh, but we basically make a loop, we twist the string, and then we pull it back to the frame. So we're not tying off around the main string for the starting knot, which can create a problem when you pull the first couple of crosses. Uh, you can damage the main strings. And you see there, he did uh, about six twists. How, how, many, how many are left here? Uh, you have to do a, about 10, 10 okay. or 11. Uh, what we have to remember first is to change the tension for the cross strings. Okay. Which we do, we have a touch screen here. So we've gone up to 34 pounds. All right. Uh, and we always pull the first two at, at a time because it protects the knot. And we always like to 
I have one in front when we're lacing up. So I already have to start here with this one? Yes, yeah. Okay. okay, as soon as it drops back to the, the tension, then you can place the clamp. Uh, lock, yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then? And off we go. What are you laughing at, Ty? Hey! <laughs> to try and relax, Toby. We won't watch anymore. So, no pressure. You're doing something wrong or? No, 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 no. <laughs> because we're making you nervous, right? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we're halfway there, yeah? Already, that went so quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, we'll let Ty take over, so. Um, okay, yeah, let's see. a slightly different way of, of working. Yeah. Oh, is, that a, is that a double weave tie? Okay, not to worry, well spotted. A triple weave. A triple weave? A triple weave. Okay, but I think that's because panic, panic set in. Oh shit. <laughs> but well spotted. Is it the only one? Yeah. Okay, it's a little bit slower than you, obviously, Toby. Are there also records that are more difficult than others to string? Uh, yeah, yes, because um, some of the newer rackets, the 88S Pro, uh, 99 Pro, uh, slightly different string pattern. Uh, you have to be quite careful when you get to the top of the racket because it's the, the, the gap between the main strings is much narrower. So it's quite easy to hit with the clamp mm -hmm. and to break the string. Okay. Uh, but what you'll see here, and we do this on uh, the high tension rackets, uh, and especially with Aerobite, is we will reverse the top strings, uh, because I feel personally that a lot of uh, strings are broken on the knot that's tied on the mains at the top, especially with doubles. So we will reverse here, and then we will tie off on a cross string on the, on the first Double grommet. Okay. So now the final knot is coming. And the final knot is coming. Once again, he yeah. raised tension because of the knot. So now the final one is a little bit stronger or harder yeah, again. Yeah. yeah.
Okay, there's a knot. You ready? And that went a little bit quicker with Ty and probably without any triples. So yeah, we have to tell Victor that if he wins the tournament that I also get 25% of his prize money uh, when he wins with that record. Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe 25%, but you're actually you're faster than Victor was when he did his, so. Okay. So, so. you did a good job. It's, it's not uh, very easy. It is uh, definitely not, yeah. Definitely something you have to be doing full time in and, your life. Yeah, and I also realized that this, uh, yeah, stringing really is kind of a science or maybe an art. Also, when you're watching Ty, how he gets the th strings through and all these different methods of knots and, um, yeah, really impressive. Thank you for giving uh, me and us such a cool impression. And best of luck for the rest of the week here. Thank and you very good much. Stringing. Thank you very much.